guys welcome back to my channel so I know my videos have been a little different lately but today I wanted to bring you guys through a little workout it is the middle of January and honestly this is the time of the year when you really need to start amping up your workouts and with that being said I know I haven't been doing a ton of workout videos on here but I still want to bring you guys good workouts that you can do well that will hopefully help you get motivated and want to get back into the gym. With that being said, these next three or four months are really crucial when wanting to get and feel confident in a swimsuit. This will be the time that you wanna put in work. You don't wanna start putting in work the start of the summer because it does take six to 12 weeks plus tons of time after that to really see your goals that you want and really see all that hard work you've put in show it takes a while. So this three to four month time right now is when you want to put that work in and then obviously continue putting that work in through the summer, but you should see some type of progress from these first couple months at the start of summer and then as you continue on to your journey. So today I thought I would bring you guys a pretty good little hit workout that you guys can do that will hopefully help motivate you and get you into your workouts for the summer and getting the kind of body that you feel comfortable in for being in a swimsuit. Um, I've been sharing tons of swimsuit finds on my Instagram. You guys know I have a blog, so there's tons of stuff there. But what a better way to wrap all that together than by bringing you guys this workout. It is kind of early in the morning. We're probably going to have dogs running in and out of our screen. I am sorry. There may be a kitty. Um, I mean, look at this. Do you see her? Do you see this? And then that one right there, and then that one right there. That is my life, you guys, is being distracted by dogs 24 seven. But we're just gonna do a little hit workout. I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have tons of other workouts posted here on my channel, so make sure you guys look for those, but let's just get into the video. You always wanna warm up with stretching, which I have already done. And lately, I've been loving warming up with three sets of 15 regular squats and three sets of 15 sumo squats. Lightness creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Once we've done that, one of my favorite things to do for any type of workout to really target our inner thighs is do some type of lateral lunge. Those are great to get your inner thighs. I can guarantee if I don't do them for a while, I am always sore. But you obviously try not to do the same exercises over and over and over again. So you always have to lay right in the middle. Right in the middle. Take your rope. What do you bet? So we're going to start here. You can step in and out, but today we're going to create a wide straddle and go down and come up. Core. I don't do much core, you guys know that on this channel, 
There are tons of other things you guys can do to help define your core and create a strong core. So we are going to move into some hops, something to help strengthen the arms, the shoulders, and the upper back. So this is a great one right here. One of my favorites to do. We now have a kitty that is trying to intermix. each one of those exercises. I did 15 reps on each side of the in and out. That one activates your core, your upper back, as well as your glutes. And then I went straight into 15 hops, front to back. Again, if that's something that's a little more challenging, you can step up and step back. And then from there, I did 12 push-ups. I do my push-ups on my knees, and normally I like to get 15. But with the colder weather recently, my shoulders have been feeling a little tight and they do have some problems, so I just stuck with 12. So again, that just shows do what you can for the day. Not every day is going to be the same. So we have gone through, I believe, five exercises. When I do a superset like those three exercises, I count that as one, because usually the superset is two, sim two smaller items that can be challenged as one, so I count it as one. Next, we're going to move into a, another leg act, um, exercise, and then we'll finish up with one more superset. So we are almost done with this entire workout. I love me some lunges, so we are today going to do forward lunges. My main goal this year is to really strengthen my quads, and so I'm going to be doing alternating forward lunges on each side, 15 reps for three sets, about a summer, to, about a year and a half, two years ago, I got my legs really strong just from doing workouts like this during the summer, doing most of those workouts outside, and then this past summer, I ran a lot, probably three days a week at least, with some workouts on the side. I would do anywhere from three to six miles of walking, running, or both, depending on how I felt. And I got my legs very strong, and that is going to be my goal again this year. But I'm trying to start that early. You guys know we have a spin bike here. Yesterday I got myself to do 40 minutes after I got home, finished about 10 o'clock at night, but that's okay, I am doing something. And that is my goal for this year is to do something, whether that is a small workout, a walk for, with the dogs, or an intense walk by myself, or even some type of biking. It's great to be reminded that you guys don't always need to be doing things super intensely, and for a while I was beating myself up over that, not knowing or feeling like I wasn't getting a good enough workout because I wasn't getting super sweaty, or I would just not do anything because I was so tired and I didn't want to do an intense workout. So now, like I said, last night I worked nine or 10 hours yesterday, was gone most of the day. When I was home, I was cleaning and getting stuff ready. So I decided to push myself to do 40 minutes. I cranked it up a little bit, really felt the burn in my legs and I, made, I felt good. I got a good sweat, I had leggings and a long sleeve on and I felt great. Wasn't something super crazy, but it was just enough to make me feel good about myself and that's all I need to do. If a mile or two walk make you feel good about yourself, then great, do that. That's all it's about, just do what you can. We're moving on to our last thing. I love to finish, especially this time of the year, with really trying to tone my legs. I'm watching the dogs run around in the back. I love to finish with some type of jumping. So we're just gonna do 15 regular jump squats, exploding through your toes, getting nice and low. easy and I felt like I could have probably done another five more. My heart rate is up and I'm super setting that with leg raises. So all I do for that is lift my legs up and I try not to let this foot touch the floor. I will do 15 on each side. After a few, we'll start to feel the burn mid quad. You can activate your core by really squeezing and crunching while doing these, but I love these for my legs as well as my balance stability and strength 
for my knee. You guys know I have a torn meniscus, so something like this is great if you're having knee problems or anything like that where you're supposed to be strengthening it. It's more of a PT exercise. As you can see, my heart rate is still up. It's giving me a good sweat. It's strengthening my knee, but also a super set, so I haven't taken a break yet. So after 15 jump squats, and then you go directly into 15 leg raises on each side. You're going to do three sets of those, and then you are completely finished just the, with this workout. Again, this wasn't something that was crazy difficult. A lot of more quad focused and heart rate focused, so really focusing on thinning out the quads and getting our heart rate up. This is my goal is to do something minimal or intensely depending on how I'm feeling and how much time I have available during the day to get a good workout like this in. Just do what you can. Again, you don't have to do the sets and the reps that I recommend or that I'm doing. You guys can do as you please. And that is what I recommend is doing what you can or what you have time to. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. I know it's been a while, but I really want to bring to you guys a good solid workout to help you help get you started and get you motivated before you jump into those swimsuits this summer. Because we want to feel confident in our body, feel good about ourselves. And knowing that you're working out, putting in the work in, makes you automatically feel better in those bathing suits. And once you start to see results, you feel a million times better. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Fashion videos will be next after this video. I'm going to give you guys a big thumbs up. So you guys give me one. Good job doing this workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button before you leave. Let's get to 6,000 subscribers. We are almost there. I hope you guys enjoyed